This is a very, very important topic in biochemistry. So let us try to understand this better. What is folate trap? Accumulation of methyl THFA during vitamin B12 deficiency is known as folate trap. What is THFA? Tetrahydrofolic acid. THFA is the coenzyme form of vitamin B9 that is folate. THFA is a carrier of one carbon groups. What are the one carbon groups carried by THFA? Of course, you know there is methyl group, there is methylene group, there is methinyl group and there is parmyl group. There are four one carbon groups carried by THFA but only methyl THFA is accumulating. Why? We will understand further. And when methyl THFA is accumulating? During vitamin B12 deficiency. Why? That also we will understand in the upcoming slides. First of all, you must recall the two enzymes that require vitamin B12. What are those two enzymes? In human body, only two enzymes need vitamin B12. What are they? The name begins with um. Methionine synthase and methyl malonyl CoA mutase. The enzyme that is involved in folate trap is methionine synthase. You know, methyl malonyl CoA mutase is the one which is involved in methyl malonic aciduria. B12 deficiency may lead to methyl malonic aciduria because methyl malonyl CoA is not converted to succinyl CoA. Right? So, in this video, we will focus on methionine synthase only. Alright, look at the one carbon groups carried by THFA, methylene, methinyl, formyl and methyl. Why only methyl THFA is accumulating? Look at this. Parmyl, methinyl and methylene, these three one carbon groups, they are interconvertible. Whereas, formation of methyl THFA is irreversible reaction. So, we have to produce free THFA from methyl THFA. How are we going to achieve this? That is done by this reaction. Conversion of homocysteine to methionine. What is the name of the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction? We have already learned that. Tell me, methionine synthase. Which other vitamin is needed for this reaction? It is B12. Methyl cobalamine that is B12. Homocysteine accepts the methyl group and it become methionine. That does not mean that methionine can be produced de novo in human body. Methionine is dietarily essential amino acid. Methionine cannot be produced from scratch in human body. Why? If you know the answer, you can Put it in the comment section. Now let us go back to the folate trap. So in B12 deficiency, methyl THFA is accumulating. That is folate trap, right? Try to understand this by looking at this diagram. If B12 is deficient, that is methyl cobalamine is deficient. What will happen? Methionine synthase reaction cannot happen. That means homocysteine to methionine conversion will not happen. So methyl THFA to free THFA conversion will not happen. So, folic acid gets trapped or it is going to accumulate in methyl THFA form. Right? So, the take home message after watching this video is 
B12 deficiency leads to B9 deficiency. Let me add one more important concept. B6 deficiency leads to B dash deficiency. The answer you can put it in the comment section, right? Otherwise, I will explain this in a separate video. I have explained the concept of folate trap very clearly in my book Biochemistry for Undergraduates. So, here you can see I have mentioned methyl folate trap. In exam, the question can come as methyl folate trap because methyl THFA is the one which is accumulating. So, that is why folate trap is also known as methyl folate trap. Alright. Okay. What is the whole point of watching this video? What is the clinical application of this? Let us try to understand that. You are treating a patient of macrocytic anemia. Right. So, whenever you are treating a patient with macrocytic anemia, macrocytic anemia is due to which vitamin deficiency? It is due to folic acid deficiency. So, you treat with vitamin B9 that is folate. After few months or years, the patient is presenting with neurological symptoms like subacute combined degeneration of card that is a severe form it will take years anyway i'm just telling you worsening of neurological symptoms why is this happening because you didn't add vitamin b12 to the treatment regimen whenever you are treating a patient of macrocytic anemia folic acid alone should not be given you should always add b12 because the macrocytic anemia is not exclu exclusively due to folate deficiency. B12 is deficient because of that folic acid is deficient. Right? The root cause is B12 deficiency. The root cause should be treated. Especially in India, most of the population are vegetarian. So, in vegetarians, B12 deficiency is prevalent. So, you should read this right so i hope i have explained this concept clearly if there is any doubt feel free to ask me in the comment section happy learning thank you for watching this video